the frilled shark. The frilled shark is one of the most bizarre looking creatures on the planet. It really does look like an alien. It's possible. Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face in your sleep. Only 5% of Earth's oceans have been explored and charted, especially the ocean below the surface. What lies beyond the surface is something that can only be seen in your wildest dreams. Welcome to Trend Mix, where we get into the mix with the craziest creatures. And here are 10 deep sea creature footages recorded by National Geographic and divers. But before we get into the video, kindly ask this question. What is the fear of the deep sea? The person who gets this correct gets their comment liked and pinned. Let's jump in. 10. The Six Gill Shark Believed to be the descendants of sharks that inhabited Earth's waters even before the pterodactyls and the T-Rexes roamed its lands, blunt-nosed six gills spent most of their time at profound depths, sometimes swimming at 4,500 feet below the ocean's surface. This predilection for deep water makes blunt-nosed six gill a difficult bunch to study. The International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List of Threatened Species classifies blunt-nosed six gills as near-threatened, but there's not enough data to estimate their population and discern whether it's increasing or dwindling. Females tend to be much larger than males, measuring up to 18 feet at maturity, and give birth to 40 to 110 pups at a time. But we don't know where they breed or how long they gestate. Australia's northeast coast senses what it thinks is a meal. But scientists from the Queensland Brain Institute have set out a fish head as bait with a remote control camera. Number 9. The Hagfish Hagfish are outliers. Their lineage split off from the world's most familiar fish long, long ago, probably before they evolved a backbone, something hagfish still lack. Sometimes called slime eels, they are slimy but they're not eels. Hagfish have changed surprisingly little in 300 million years. They're estimated to be 76 species of hagfish, and some live as deep as 5,500 feet below the water's surface. They are also known as slime eels because of the goop their body produces to ward off predators. Scientists estimate there are 76 species of hagfish, which can grow to be between 16 and 40 inches long. Some live as deep as 5,600 feet below the water's surface. Number 8. Goblin Shark Goblin shark have been caught as deep as 4,300 feet beneath the surface, though they are more frequently found at depths between 890 and 3,150 feet along the upper continental slope. With 50 teeth in their mouth, these gruesome creatures command attention. Interestingly, female goblin sharks are larger in adulthood than the males of the species. Females can be a maximum of 11 inches long, while males grow to be an average length of 8.66 inches. Number 7. Vampire Squid In Latin, the name of this cephalopod, which is neither a squid or an octopus, is even more sinister. Its scientific name, Vampirotheathus infernalis, means vampire squid from hell. But the vampire squid found in the inky depths of the Mesolagapic zone, of the Mesopelagic zone, about 3,300 feet below the ocean surface, is gentler than the Appalachian indicates. Unlike its namesake, it does not feed on blood. Instead, this creature subsists on marine snow, decaying organic matter that falls on the ocean floor, kind of like the dead leaves that litter forests. It's a unique animal that has been separated by scientists into its own group. Like many of its relatives, the vampire squid has eight arms and two tentacles. It does not suck or drink blood, and it gets its common name from the dark color and the skin that connects the arms, resembling a cape. Vampire Toothus infernalis is a type of living fossil meaning that it has seen very little change since it first appeared before dinosaurs about 300 million years ago. Number 6. Anglerfish The anglerfish, possibly one of the world's ugliest creatures, is most famous for the bioluminescent growth on its head, which lures prey to its death at the lightless bottom of the ocean. What's more, there are more than 200 species of anglerfish, divided into four groups, goosefish, batfish, frogfish, and deep-sea angler. Only females possess the iconic bioluminescent angling apparatus. Most live at the bottom of the Atlantic or Antarctic oceans, sometimes as far as a mile below the surface. And no, the anglerfish are not dangerous to humans. However, humans are dangerous to anglerfish. The Japanese, as well as various European and African nations, also prepare several types of anglerfish dishes. They're just freaking ugly that you would be so afraid of them.
The light is a lure wielded by our champion of the weird, the deep sea anglerfish. Number five, the ghost shark. Chimeras and cartilaginous fish in the order of chimeriforms, known informally as ghost sharks, ratfish, spookfish, or rabbitfish. The last three names are not to be confused with rat tails. Epistropodidae, Epistroproctidae, Epistropoctidae, or Cyganindae, respectively. Like sharks and rays, the ghoulish chimera shark is typical of, of cartilaginous fish. Also, it bears an uncanny resemblance to Zero, the dog from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Inhabiting temperatures to cold waters around the world, chimera live at depths of 8,200 feet or more. There are more than 47 species, which range in length from 24 to 80 inches. Archaeological evidence has proven that chimera have been around for millions of years. The earliest fossil specimens, a skull, was dated to about 280 million years ago. It was unearthed in South Africa in the 1980s. Number 4. The Slender Snipe Eel The Slender Snipe Eel, one of the most compact DC critters, can grow to a minimum length of 4 feet, but weighs no more than 6 or 7 ounces. Scientists aren't entirely sure how this eel catches its prey, but they speculate that the process involves the creature using its beak-like mouth to capture food. Research also suggests that slender snipes spawn once and then die. They reproduce through a process known as broadcast spawning, in which the females and males respectively release eggs and sperm into the water column. At the same time, snipe eels are found in shallower waters and higher latitudes, and deeper waters at lower latitudes. Most of what we know about this animal comes from specimens that are caught in fishing trawls. Snipe eels can be found in all the world's oceans, in temperate and tropical regions. The conservation status of the slender snipe eel is not known, but it is likely naturally rare. It is not targeted for human use and is rarely captured in fisheries targeting other species. It's super cool. And what kind of eel is that? Wow. It's called a snipe eel, S-N-I-P-E. Oh, nice. These are really nice. cool and they're... Um, Three, barrel eye fish. The barrel eye, also known as the spook fish, has extremely light sensitive eyes on the top of its fluid filled head. The barrel eye was first described in 1939, but remained a mystery to scientists until 2009, when they discovered that its large tubular eyes could actually rotate inside of its head. This rotational ability allows them to look upward for potential prey or face forward to see where it's eating. Since the barrel fish lives at such depths where there is hardly any light, their tubular shaped eyes help them use whatever faint amounts of light drift down to them. They also have two spots above their mouths, which are called nares, analogous to human nostrils. The barrel fish can be mostly found in the North Pacific Ocean, off the Californian coast. It also exists in the Indian and Atlantic Oceans. Deep waters ranging from Baja California to the Bering Sea to Japan have barrel eye fish populations. Typically, the barrel eye sits quietly in the water, using its big fins for stability while it scans the water above for food. Number two, frilled shark. With its grisly appearance, the frilled shark is an example of a living fossil, an extant animal whose appearance has not evolved much through the millennia. The term can also apply to a creature that have few or no close surviving relatives. What's most unusual about this prehistoric looking predator, which is endemic to the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, is the way it reproduces. In other mammal species, embryos are nourished via a placenta. However, frilled shark embryos obtain energy from yolk sacs, and mothers only give birth once their offspring are capable of surviving on their own. Growing up to seven feet long, frilled sharks primarily prey on squid. They are also known to feed on fish and even other sharks. The frilled shark. The frilled shark is one of the most bizarre looking creatures on the planet. It really does look like an alien. Number one, Atlantic wolffish, a predatory species that feeds on hard-bodied or spiny invertebrates like sea urchins or large marine snails. This creature is not aggressive toward humans unless provoked. You'll find the Atlantic wolffish, which can grow up to five feet long in the North Atlantic and Arctic oceans. Preferring chillier waters, it lives at depths ranging from 328 feet to 1,640 feet. With its lengthy eel-like body, this fish is also known as a wolf eel. Christine shows Zach how it's done, coaxing Gene out of his den with a delicious snack. And that's pretty much it for today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. 
so you're always updated with our latest uploads. We have new videos each week, so don't forget to tick the bell icon and become a part of the notification squad. See y'all next week, and goodbye.